Can you really be an owner of these buildings with just a few thousand pesos? Hey guys, what's up? Today, we'll be talking about one of the more interesting investment instruments in the Philippines right now, and it's the Real Estate Investment Trust, or more commonly known as REITs. Now, REITs have been approved and put into law since 2009, but there hasn't been any company that started offering REITs until last year in 2020, when no less than Ayala Land came out with a REIT. Now, the performance of AREIT has been quite encouraging. Since its IPO debut last year at 25 pesos, it's now trading at 37 pesos, which is roughly an appreciation of 37% since its IPO debut. So you might be wondering, are REITs just another form of stocks? Are they just good as any other stock? Well, yes and no. The thing with REITs is that by law, they are mandated to give 90% of their income to their shareholders. So unlike other stocks that you don't really know what percentage may come in, for REITs, you will be expecting higher dividends. So I guess put simply, REITs trade just like any other stock, except that they are specific to the real estate industry. In fact, with REITs, you as a shareholder would know specifically which buildings you are owning or which buildings are part of the entire portfolio. Now, this video won't be a deep dive into REITs. In fact, I'm only going to share with you how I recently invested in REITs via BDO Securities because it actually took some time for BDO Securities to enable this feature. Aww. So while Ayala Land made its REIT debut last year, it wasn't until June 2021 when users of BDO Securities can now finally trade REITs. So congrats BDO users, we can finally keep up. So in this video, what I'm going to be focusing on is how you can invest in REITs via BDO Securities. Follow these next easy steps so that you can quickly get invested in REITs. Number one, go to the BDO Securities website. That's bdo.com.ph slash securities. You don't have to log into your account just yet. You can look for the instructions on how to open a NOCD account or a name on central depository account. So right now, it's the second subpage featured at the bottom. If you're having a hard time finding it, I'll just post the link now here. And if you miss that, you can also look at it in the description section. I want to make sure that you're able to find this and that you're able to download it since this is a PDF file, a form that you'll need to print, fill up, and sign. Basically just stating that you're authorizing BTO Securities to open a name on central depository account and make sure you also put your BDO account number at the right hand bottom portion. If you don't know this number, you can actually get your account number from inside your BDO Securities account. I will show you now a sample of where you can find it within your account. Under the trading section, click on my account and buying power summary and your investor ID should be it. Once you've signed off on this, you can email this to bdosec dash customercare at bdo.com.ph if you missed that i'm also sharing the email below once you've emailed this you just have to wait for their confirmation from my personal experience it took a little longer than what i was expecting i emailed my signed form on july 29 the website says it will be processed a day after receiving the email and i did not get a confirmation until august 4 so that acknowledgement happened four business days after my initial email. The confirmation that the NOCD account has been made did not come in until August 10, which was a whole 10 business days after I sent in my email. I hope the processing period now is shorter rather than being longer. If your experience differs, perhaps it's shorter now or maybe longer. Let me know in the comment section so that we can let other viewers here know what is the expected processing time. And yes, after making that NOCD account, I'm now able to invest in ARI. And because of that processing time, I missed the Philinvest Land REIT IPO. So what I was able to do now was jump into the Robinsons Land REIT. The IPO period was from August 25 to 30. So if you're just about to get your NOCD account, you've already missed this IPO. But you may be interested on how I invested in the IPO and apply this to the upcoming Mega World REIT that is coming around in the next few weeks in September. So by the end of September, there's going to be five REITs made available to the market. Ayala Land, second that actually came in was a Double Dragon REIT, Bill Invest, Robinsons, and Mega World as REITs that you can invest in. How did I invest in the Robinsons Land REIT? And how could you do it with the upcoming Mega World REIT? 
follow these next steps also on the Video Securities website on how you can subscribe to the upcoming Mega World IPO. So for this, you have to log into your BDO Securities account. And to be able to subscribe to the upcoming IPO, you're not going to do it in the regular trading section. Once you've logged in, there is that portion of the site and it says IPO. Click on that and the IPO page tends to be a little buggy. So if it doesn't load properly, just refresh it. The IPO page would be listing the available IPO stocks that are currently being offered in the market. You select the upcoming IPO and indicate the number of shares that you want to avail of. Of course, make sure that your BDO Securities account is properly funded. Key in the quantity and you're all set. Again, you can do this with the upcoming Mega World Read. So yes, if you currently don't have an NOCD account right now, make sure you open one so that you can freely trade reads that's currently available in the local market. So yes, this is sort of the hot investment instrument out there in the market today. I hope this has been helpful. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching and happy investing.